take a polygon disk right click assign new material select form click on this icon go to attribute editor click on the color checker box on common material attribute color checker box select ram ramp attribute ram type select circular ramp to see the ram effect click on the texture icon now change the color select click on this icon change the color and slide the this here and this here that is right now select the mesh go to edit delete by type delete history now change modeling menu to fx menu go to mesh create a mesh network click on the attribute editor mesh di distribute type number of point 10 di distribution type select grid grid x slide this approximately type about 22 grid x increase Eleven grid x eleven. Now click mesh one from the outliner or attribute editor. Add a signal node. Just left click and add node. Now click play. Stop. Signal type select. Fractional Brownian motion. Fractional Brownian motion. Go to top view. Click on the texture icon to see the texture. Click on mesh one signal node. Click play. Turn of the grid. Position Z, position Z zero. A step amount decrease. Now select mesh one, add a influence node, just left click and add node. Influence node. Select the influence locker. Go to top view. Select rotate, sorry, scale tool, just scale. Now slide the time slider. Click play. Now Move the time slider to 
here and go to frame 1 and press S to set a keyframe and go to last frame, frame 20 press S to set another key go to frame 100 and press S to set another key and now move the influence lock mesh one influence lock to the other side sorry move the time slider to frame 50 and move the influence lock here and press s to set another key and move it to the frame 150 and move it to the other side and press s now play and see the effect this is the influence node effect now go to mesh open the mesh editor and select the influence node and put it under the signal node sorry influence node to signal node now hit play and see the effect <laughs> 